Good morning, guys and gals. All righty, the sun is out. We're going to put an alignment on this C6 E06, and we're going to use these bad boys here, these lasers to align using the CSM Performance Alignment System. Now, I am going to skip by a lot of stuff about putting the car up on the hub stands. There's the hub stands because it's already been covered in my other videos. If you're uh, new to Froggy's Garage and you need that information, please just go to the Corvette playlist and find the information on putting the car up on hub stands. But I'm going to skip by that now for my viewers who just want to get to the alignment. Okay, here we go. Here's a quick note on setting up the hub stands. My rear tires are taller than the front tires and when you set up the hub stands they should be the same way the rear hub stands taller than the front hub stands you should calculate your tires in my case one hole higher you can see that i got three full holes and a half the front is two full holes and a half so that's what works for my car this is in the instructions and you should Check that for your car, okay? If you used the extra, the third one, uh, each each shoulder bolt, pivot shoulder bolt, there's three on each corner. If you use that third one to lock the hub mount plate, make sure you take it out. Um, I marked them with red. Put a red dot there and a red dot on that. Make sure you take them out before you lower the car. Um, otherwise, it'll all be bound up. Lock your steering wheel. See my other video if you need to detail on how to do that. There are lots of steering wheels and lots of locks. Install your camber gauge and adjust camber as per the factory instructions. Um, on this car, I'm not going to go into detail, but I use shims on the top and I have put maximum negative on the bottom. Uh, this is just how to use the CSM tool. This is not a detail on how to set your camber. If somehow it comes into my possession that I have the long acre digital gauge, I would do a video on how to use that digital gauge. This is the bubble gauge. Okay, so we are done on the front. Like I said, refer to my previous videos if you want details on adding and removing shims from a C6 C06. So how do we save time with the hub stands? Well, we don't have to put the wheels uh, on and off and on and off each time we change uh, shims and remeasure. Uh, so this is a real time saver. Okay, let's check the rear. The rear might be okay. I'm just checking it. See if I've still got the same negative camber it should be. Okay, the rear is, is a little off side to side, but I'm going to call it okay for today. And I want to get to the lasers and the toe. Okay, this might seem a little bit out of sequence, but I realized I left a, a little something out. So assembling the laser into the scope mount and the base so you're going to take these thumb screws and screw them in equal amounts all six of them leave less than a quarter of an inch in put the laser in it doesn't matter which end is the button and which end is the the laser the laser is recessed right there well, first let's put a battery in battery goes opposite of what you might think positive in no the positive goes out pointed out like that and then cap it off check it for function nice green laser okay now into the mount. 
I like to line it up so that, see there's three marks on the laser and I put it in so that the last mark is lined up. Now, and now you wanna turn equal, small amounts, equal, small amounts, equal, equal. It's starting to get tight. There. Oh, that back one's tight. Now the front one's tight. Okay, we're gonna to get to calibrating them later on and we're also gonna to get to mounting this base later on. Okay, and this is the uh, attachment screw to attach it onto the upright hub stand. This one is a little long, so I had to space it with some nylon spaces. All right, don't worry about that. So this is gonna go into the video. It might seem it's like it's a little bit out of, uh, out of the time sequence, but it's important. So that's how you put it all together, okay? Okay, let's put the new laser together. You assemble this mount. It'll only fit in one way. It goes into the actual piece that holds the laser cylinder. Um, there, let me tip it like that. If you try to go in one way, Oop, here we go. It will, it'll stop. So you go in the other way, this thing pointing out, it goes in all the way. So there's a little lump there. I don't know what to call it technically. That stays on outside. Tighten up the set screw like that. Now the laser cylinder has three holding screws on each end. And to set them up, you just want to screw them in equi, equi threads for each one of the three. Okay, you know what I mean by equal threads? So it will be centered in the mount. Uh, I'll do it and then I'll show you. Okay, let's see if I can give you a good focused picture of this. See how I've threaded in each one of those screws with the knurled knob equi turns of each one so that it's holding the laser cylinder right in the middle of the mount same thing on the other end right in the middle of the mount okay then you're going to take your mounting screw this this is a little long so i had to put some washers on there yours might be the right size or if they're a little long just do that put washers on it um, because it can only go so far in that hole and it'll bottom out you'll know this is something froggy decided to do and you can use your own judgment on this um, on this mount sorry a little out of frame there's not a lot of engagement with this screw and there's obviously no lock washer or anything i wanted that to stay nice and tight between here and here so i'm going to put a little bit of uh, blue Loctite on the threads of the screw and also on these rails here. I'll show you. Okay, just like that. A little bit there, a little bit there. Um, I can take it apart if I need to take it apart, but this is just going to keep it more secure. Um, you want this to be rock solid. And I took a little pliers and just give it a nice, gentle, firm, gentle, little extra couple of degrees of twist and now this is as solid as you're going to get it it's almost like it's it's one piece and uh, i don't think you need it on these because you have more thread engagement you have three three of them six of them really uh holding the laser in there you can feel if that laser gets loose at all i've been playing around with these for a couple of days and they haven't loosened up uh, so, let's get on to mounting them on the uh, tow bars. A little froggy tip. Same thing with these magnets. Um, the, uh, these threads are really tiny, so I just put some blue Loctite. Keep those magnets nice and in place. Okay, moving right along. This is uh, the part where we calibrate the lasers. 
So mount the tow bars front and rear at the low level. All right, they're all mounted all the way around, low level. Take one of your lasers and mount it on the tow bar and shoot the beam. Sorry for that glare there coming in. Shoot the beam to the grid. There you go on the grid. Now you're going to use your centering, your six centering screws to make it horizontally. That's way horizontally um, equal. I'm going to use probably in the example it says use number four. I'm going to use number three just on my car. It's arbitrary. You can use one, two, three, four, anything you want. Um, I wouldn't use one because that's too close to that nut right there. But use use it. Yeah, I'm going to use two. Okay, so let me go back there and play with it. So what I'm doing is loosening this one first and then tighten, tighten. Loosen, tighten, tighten, loosen, tighten, tighten. And it's moving over a little tiny bit each time. So what I'm doing is loosen, loosen, tighten. That's kicking the back of the laser that way and the front is going that way. Okay, so I'm dead on the two there. That's calibrated. For the vertical, you can just move the laser, move the laser in its mount if you want to do the vertical. Uh, that would be the way to do that. But the critical one is the horizontal. So rinse and repeat for the other laser. Okie dokie, laser number two is uh, calibrated. So now we set toe using the tape measure and the toe bar. Front toe. We're talking about front toe now. And the most important thing you have to remember here as you set your front toe is to keep the lasers in the same equi measurement, equal measurement on the rear. It doesn't matter. The number doesn't matter. It just has to be an equal measurement on the rear. Um, so I already set toe. Um, if you wanted to, you could skip that previous toe setting that I did. It, this is, um, you, you, you're a little redundant, but don't worry about it. Um, so I'm not going to turn the adjusting nuts and, and change the toe again. I just want to show you how this works with the lasers. So you would get under there and you would turn the adjusting nut. There it is right there in the middle of your screen. And you would set your toe to what you want using the tape. The tape on the front and the back of the toe bar. And let's say for autocross you want a quarter, an eighth or a quarter total toe out, which would be something you would use for Corvette on autocross. Or you maybe want zero toe. Whatever you want, just make sure that you end up with the laser dots equal on both sides, all right? And that means you're setting your toe to the center line of the car, your steering wheel is straight and everything is good, okay? Now we're gonna take the grids to the front and the lasers to the back, easy peasy. Okay, so now I've got both lasers illuminating on the grids on the front. Now, I haven't changed, I haven't recalibrated or anything like that. Now, I want to show you something. This is important. This is a learning moment. That's reading 0.75 on the grid. This is driver side, 0.75. This is passenger side, 1.5 on the grid. Now, this is not inches or millimeters or anything like that at this point. What that means, what that means is my driver's side left rear is pointed in more 
than the passenger side. It doesn't mean that it's towed in at this point. All that means is it's more in than the passenger side. You see it? I could still have total toe out, or I could have total toe in. I don't know that at this point, but I know that the driver's side is more than the passenger side. So what I'm going to do in this case, because I want toe in on the back, is I'm going to take my passenger side and tow it in a little bit more and I'm going to leave the driver's side alone. I'm going to tow it in until I've got pretty close to 0.75. Okay? Okay, so this is me on the right rear. I'm moving the laser beam in, towing in this corner to match the other corner. And it's there right now. I don't know if I can zoom it. I'm not going to get up. But, yeah, that's not bad. It's 0 0.75. 0 0.75 is what I had on the other side. Don't worry about the vertical too much. The, you, you don't really care about the vertical as long as it's on the plate. I mean, I like to have it pretty close to the middle line, but don't worry about the vertical. It's the horizontal. Oh, sorry. Horizontal is what you care about. So that's a 0.75. Now both of them are equal. And um, to figure out my total toe in on the rear, I just use the tape measure and measure from the front and from the back of the bar. And I'll do that. So what I ended up with, focus, focus. Oh, I'm zoomed in too much, sorry. There, 73 dead from the front of the tow bar and 73 and 5 eighths to the rear of the tow bar. So I've got 5 eighths total tow in. That's a little more than I want. So what I'm gonna do is move both of them out to the number one mark on the grids and see what I've got then. Um, but really, I want to wrap this up now uh, because I've shown you how to use the lasers. They are cool. They are accurate. They are so much better than the strings that I've been using for like 20 years. Um, so, there's where you get them. Colton's a great guy. Call him, email him, talk to him. Buy these, uh, buy this uh, alignment system. If you're serious, I mean, buy this alignment system because it'll make everything faster and more accurate. Give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Be safe, have fun. Click on the bell if you want notifications. See you. Froggy out. Bye-bye.